She wants to be famous. She wants to have lots and lots of money. Soar above the clouds. She wanna be free, like Nelson Mandela. Stand tall like a pyramid. So so courageous. No place she'd rather be. Oh na na na. Oh na na na. And there's no place she'd rather be. Yeah. Oh na na na. Live and die in Africa. She wanna live and die in Africa. Oh no 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 no. Live and die in Africa. Oh, live and die in Africa. Go down in history and make my mama proud. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Nasi toki umani, mwachamilam tu mwa. No place I'd rather go. Oh na na na, No place I'd rather go. Yeah 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 yeah. And live and die in Africa. Live and die in Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Live and die in Africa. Oh, oh. Live and die in Africa. Live and die in Africa. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here today. On stage is a group called Saudi Soul. We meant <laughs> we have a couple of people paid in the audience to make some noise for us. Uh, the four of us met in high school, 15 years ago, and at the time we were famous for singing boys to men covers because they were our biggest inspiration. And I remember in a very pervy way in my room I had a Mariah Carey poster and a Britney Spears poster too. And uh, I can't help but feel that times have changed because. What used to be Mariah Carey in my room now, in a 15-year-old boy's room, is Tiva Savage. What used to be 50 Cent in my room, it then, to a 15-year-old boy's room now, is Saudi Soul. And the role of Afrobeats in emancipating and getting over the colonial mindset of the youth cannot be ignored. Afrobeats has played the strongest role so far, if you ask me, as far as emancipating the youth is concerned. We are now the superstars of our generation for our people. We are the solution to their musical problems. And people our age are no longer looking for entertainment from America, from the West. We are their entertainment. And they're priming us above any other form of art. In 2015, President Obama came to Kenya and we had the pleasure of being the entertainment for the state dinner that happened at State of Nairobi. And as we were performing, he jumped on stage with us and together we did a cultural dance to a song that I want to share with you guys right now. And wherever you are, if you feel the music, dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Surayako. Nimekuchagua wewe nikupende mama sitaki mwingine aishi usiniache usinitende yeyeyeye mama usipende mwingine moyo wangu ni mwepesi umenikalia chapati nafanya vitu kwa kama chizi we ukupenda sitasizi moyo wangu ni mwepesi Umenikalia chapati nafanya vitu kwa kama chizi we Ukupenda zita sizi na sura yako mzuri mama Mzuri mama Mzuri mama Mzuri mama Ataba zamu la koma huwa
Thank you so much. So, <laughs> Afrobeat, Afrobeat. Afrobeat is a force. It's a force in the world right now. Just last year, in the last year alone, Africa had songs in the Billboard chart. One, one dance, written by Wizkid, performed by Wizkid and Drake. Unforgettable French Montana. For those who know or don't know, French Montana is Moroccan. Artists who the world has normally considered as mainstream are now realizing they're late to the party. And they're knocking on the door, and because we're good people, we're going to let them in. <laughs> when you look at an artist, Queen B herself, in brackets, Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce has used, or Beyonce has African influence in her music. A couple of years ago, in 2011, through YouTube, she saw this dancers called Toffo Toffo Dancers, from Mozambique, and she flew them over for all the way from Mozambique till Los Angeles to teach her and her dancers the now signature dance moves that you see in her song, Who Run the World? Girls. Yeah? <laughs> so, with social media and a vibrant, vibrant African diaspora, more and more the world is dancing to our rhythm and talking our pigeon. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks, Nigeria, we'll use that for across the board, yeah. <laughs> Our next song, Kuliko Jana, had a viral video that was posted by Snoop Dogg, Neo, Talib Kweli. And the general feedback of this song, especially in the black community in the United States, was that this song gave them a feeling or a sense of spiritual repatriation. So, ladies and gentlemen, Kuliko Jana. <laughs>
Thank you very much.